Good morning children. Today we shall learn more about algebraic expression. We already know what is an algebraic expression. An algebraic expression is made of constants, variables and arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division etc. Here 7x minus 8 is an algebraic expression. Why? Because in this 7 and 8 are constants and their values are fixed. x is a variable and there are two operations which are multiplication between 7 and x and subtraction. We know the formula of perimeter of a rectangle which is 2 multiplied by length plus 2 multiplied by the breadth. The value of length and the breadth vary with the size of rectangle. So, these are variables. Let us express the length and breadth using the two variables L and B respectively. So, the perimeter becomes 2L plus 2B. So, we see the algebraic expression can have more than one variable. You know an algebraic expression is made of terms. The several parts of an expression connected by addition or subtraction operation are called the terms. In simple words, we can say the terms are connected by the plus or the minus sign in an algebraic expression. For example, in an algebraic expression 2L plus 2B, the terms are 2L and 2B. Remember, 2L which is actually 2 multiplied by L is a single term, not two terms. This is because in 2L, the variable L is connected to the constant 2 by multiplication operation, not by addition or subtraction. Understood? Same way, in the algebraic expression 7x minus 8, there are two terms. 7x is the first term and minus 8 is the second term. So we see the terms can be a number like minus 8 or just a variable or number and variables combined by multiplication or the division like 7 and x are combined by multiplication operation here. Now let us see different kinds of expression. An expression like 2LB consists of only one term and it is called a monomial. Now coming to the next expression 2L plus 2B. In this expression there are two terms and it is called a binomial. The next expression is 5m minus n plus l. Here we see there are three terms. So it is called a trinomial. Lastly, the expression here is x plus y minus 2z plus 4. So this expression consists of many terms and it is called a multinomial or polynomial. So now we know what are monomial consisting of one term, binomial consisting of two terms, trinomial consisting of three terms and polynomial which consists of many terms. You know the terms can be further divided into factors like we can break down a number say 12 into its factors like 12 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. So the factors are 2, 2 and 3. Same way the algebraic expressions are made of terms and the terms can be broken down into factors like 2L means 
2 multiplied by L. So we can say 2 and L are the factors of the term 2L. Same way the factors of the term 2B are 2 and P. So we see a term can be expressed as a product of numerical factors and the literals or the variable factors. Here in case of 2B, 2 is the numerical factor and B is a variable factor. Any number can be expressed as a product of its factor. Same way any term can be represented as a product of its factors. In the story we saw Aman decided to take extra tuitions and also save rupees 20 daily from the money earned through selling the snacks to pay for the coaching fees. Say he took X number of new tuitions and saved rupees 20 daily for Y days. So total money he could have saved was equal to 350 rupees multiplied by X plus 20 multiplied by Y. Here we see 350x and 20y are the terms of the expression 350x plus 20y. And further, each term can also be divided into factors. Like the factors of the term 350x are 350 and x. Same way, in case of the term 20y, the factors are 20 and y. You know any factor of the term is called the coefficient of the product of the remaining term. Confused? Let us see. If we have a term say 5 lmn then we can say 5 is the coefficient of lmn in the term 5 lmn. Or we can also say 5L is the coefficient of MN or we can also say 5LM is the coefficient of N in the term 5LMN. Commonly we also say 5 is the numeral coefficient of LMN in the term 5LMN. So we can say the numeric factor of a term is also called the numeral coefficient like 350 is the numeral coefficient of the term 350x same way 20 is the numeral coefficient of the term 20y. So to summarize what we learned today what are terms? The several parts of an algebraic expression connected by plus or the minus are called the terms of the expression. For example, in the expression 7x minus 8, 7x and minus 8 are the terms. And what are the factors of a term? In the term 10ab, 2, 5, 10a, b, ab, 2ab, 5ab, etc. are the factors. In the term 10ab, 2, 5 and 10 are the numeric factors. And in the term 10ab, a, b and ab are the variable factors. And what is the coefficient? Any factor of a term is called the coefficient of the product of the remaining factors. For example, in the term 3xy, 3x is the coefficient of y, whereas 3 is the numeral coefficient of xy. So that was all about algebraic expressions. Bye bye children.